Hey everyone, it is Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel, and welcome to a long overdue home screen tutorial. I know it's been a while, and I do apologize for that, but you may just learn a thing or two from this new setup. So, without any further ado, let's bring you today's new video. Great, so like I said, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how to set up a fantastic looking home screen that you can see before you right here. Some more information about it, it is titled Colority or Colority by the artist 21 Marco 12 and let's just have a closer look at it. Starting from the top, it's got a thin, neat little status bar, notification bar there displaying your uh, signal, your time, as well as your battery information. Beneath that, you've got your agenda for the day, as well as your date. And beneath that, you've got an awesome looking temperature little block or segment here that as you can see, it's got your temperature as well as your humidity and wind speed. Pretty neat little setup right there. But of course, if you wanna play some music, I'm just going to select the little music icon right there and it now brings up your music block or changes it. Now as you can see it's got your music information and of course if you select the play button it'll then start playing some awesome jams. You can then select back and carry on with the rest of the screen. You have a Google search bar right here, your unread SMSs as well as stunning imagery beneath that displaying your missed calls as well as your unread emails as well as of course some more jump to shortcuts at the bottom. For example, your app draw just like that. So if you'd like to know how to set up this brilliant looking Android home screen, let us begin with today's new video. Great, so before you begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup. So let's begin with those apps. First off, we'll be needing a good old file explorer such as ES File Explorer, simply to copy and paste those files into their respective folders. Next up will be Media Utilities, and that will allow you to play your music as you saw in that very widget earlier on. Next up will be a third party launcher. I do recommend Nova Launcher for this very setup. This is the launcher that I'll be using in this video, but you are welcome to use Thema as the Thema zip file is included. And of course you can just one click and apply and it'll set up all of this for you. Next up will be pop up widget. And as you can see, there's a new icon. I didn't, I haven't used this in so long that I didn't even realize that the icon has changed, but it does come with a lot of new features that makes it a lot easier to maneuver within your new home screen. And finally, good old Zupa widget pro and you need the pro version in order to import those custom files. And that was basically the widgets that you saw before you. That was Zupa widgets. So once you have have all the apps on your phone you want to look in the link in the description below or you want to download that either onto your computer extract it using various file extraction software and then copy it back onto your phone or you can just simply copy it directly onto your phone and then extract it say using ES File Explorer but all you want to do is to basically have a file or folder that looks like this you want to have your Clarity folder onto your phone so once that's done, once you have it onto your phone, you'll open it up and it comes with these three files. One will be your wallpaper and the other two will be your Zupa widget files. You know that they're Zupa widgets because they end in .zw. So I'm going to hold down on each one of those two now. I'm going to make sure that they're both selected and I'm going to select copy now. As I want to go back into my main SD card directory, that one right there, scroll all the way to the very, almost very bottom. And I want to look for my Zoop widget folder. I want to open it up now, look for the templates folder, and I simply want to paste those both right into there. So you want to have both of those files in your templates folder within Zoop widget. Makes your life a whole lot easier. As now we are done with the basically the pre setup, and we're now going to start editing our Android home screen. Awesome stuff. So if you have any icons or widgets on your home screen, you just want to hold down on them and select remove or you can just drag them into the X at the top. But you want to have a completely blank home screen for this as now we're going to jump right into those Nova Launcher settings. So in order to do that, I'm going to simply hold down on the home screen, select that wrench at the top. This will bring up my Nova Launcher settings and from here I want to jump right into my desktop. Next up, I want to go into my desktop grid as a 12 by 12 seem to work out very well for this. If it doesn't work for you, you may have some trouble as the Zoop widget file is meant for a 12 by 12 as it's only just one widget. And you may have to do some resizing within Zoop widget, but don't worry, I'll get to that a bit later as it's quite easy to do. So 12 by 12 worked for me. Margins, you want to be on none. Shadow, you want to have that deselected. 
pretty much it's a single page screen so you don't have to worry about anything here but for home screens remember just to select one home screen if you scroll a bit more down you want to have most things off you don't want to have labeled icons there are no icons but of course you always want to have widget overlap and overlap when placing always comes in handy I'm going to back out of desktop right now and i'm going to jump into my look and feel so I'll scroll a bit down now i want to make sure that my notification bar setting has been disabled don't want that notification bar at the top because we have our own awesome one that we're going to be implementing and of course our dock you want to have your dock disabled you're not going to be using a dock at all and that's pretty much your nova settings complete very easy to do so i'm going to go back out of everything make sure that your notification bar is now gone as well as your dock as well as anything else that can be on your home screen i want that gone and of course now you want to just change that wallpaper I have a good feeling that this is pure black so if you just go into your wallpapers right now and of course you can change it using your various galleries I'm just going to stick with my standard gallery and it's just going to be changing the wallpaper to the one that came with this folder so select that color clarity I'm so confused with that but I'm going to select that wallpaper right now of course no cropping needed or stretching resizing you just need to select OK as it's pretty much just changing it to one solid color like you can just see right here so that's pretty much all your background setup done next we are ready for that awesome looking Zupa widget so now we're going to be adding in this Zupa widget I'm going to hold down on that home screen select widgets right now and of course scroll all the way to the bottom and look for Zupa widget pro of course it doesn't matter which size you choose as you're always going to be resizing it so I'm just going to go say for a 7x2 I'm going to hold down on this Zupa widget widget and resize as you want to make it take up the entire screen like this now one thing you may notice you just want to tap back and select your now newly formed or newly added widget and hopefully it should bring up Zoop widget configuration the menu right here now I'm just gonna to get to something right here if we go into our open and select our SD card option right here this is shows you your widgets that are saved into that templates folder here is the one titled clarity Ugh, can never get that right but here it is it's loaded up there it is right there but you may notice that there is a gap so I'm not sure if that's meant for the notification bar I'm not sure this is meant for a 720p phone but however there's still a gap at the top so we're gonna be editing Zoop widget pro just a little bit just to make sure that it fits nice and sharp at the top in order to do that we simply have to select um, a blank area within the widget jump into our layout as now we want to change the layout obviously and we want to look for the one here called dark violet bg which is this background at the top so i'm just going to select it right now and just scroll a bit down look for the one here titled height and of course we want to increase that height as we're just going to make it touch the very top make sure that it's flush against the top bar so I'm just gonna see that looks pretty good I'm gonna select back now as the next thing we want to shift up is that notification bar but of course that's made up of many different modules so I'm just gonna help you guys out here if we go and look for the one here titled top bar I'm just gonna select that little checkbox right there as that just enables it in order for you to reposition it but of course we want to move everything that's included within that bar so of course Zoop widget makes it easy you can now select your time your battery your battery percentage as well as your signal so that's your entire bar right there you want to select your little reposition icon at the top right right over there and now we can move it with ease you want to select enable fast move and change your Y offset and bump it up it may take a little bit of trial and error as you obviously you don't want to cut everything or cut anything off at the top and sometimes it may just go blank or gray like this but don't worry it's still there it hasn't deleted everything I think that looks should, but hopefully it should look good there we go it looks pretty good we can just back out of it let's just see and there it is it's at the top it looks good so no more gap there at the top so that is pretty much what you want to do you welcome now what I've done now I'm just going to show you swipe to the left I've now shifted up the date here as well using that same method just multi selecting a few widgets or a few modules and then moving them up and it made it look a lot better so not too sure it might work for you guys it might fit perfectly but for me I just had to do some resizing but in the end it made it look a whole lot better so last thing we want to do is to customize 
our music setup will make sure that it opens up when we tap this area or that music icon right there and that'll be all thanks to pop-up widget let's get to it great so we're nearly there guys we just need to configure that pop-up widget to display your music information now of course you have to set up media utilities so that it can display your music information so if you haven't done that yet just open up media utilities Go open into your settings menu right there or at the bottom if you're using a Samsung device. Select your settings and make sure that all of your application integration apps are enabled, especially Zoop Widget, of course, because you want to have your music to be displayed. And of course, all your experimental features, you also want to have all of those displayed as well or enabled. So quick little setup there for media utilities is now ready to get into pop-up widget. Now, of course, if you select that little icon right there, nothing's going to happen. It's going to say fail to instantiate the widget, which pretty much just means that you haven't set up pop-up widget for this very setup. So, of course, you want to select the middle area right here. It's going to bring up your Zoop widget configuration and you want to jump into your layout. Now, the author is being very kind enough to label everything or pretty much everything for you here. But the one that you're worried about is the one here called Muzi Icon. I guess that's the music icon, but pretty much you want to select that. That's that little one there. And of course, you want to scroll to Widget on Tap Action, where you can see that the module on tap has been set to shortcut, which means that it's been set to the pop up widget shortcut. So we want to swipe to the last page right here, and you want to look for the shortcuts tab. You want to scroll to the bottom here, you want to look for that new pop up widget icon, and now select it. As you can see, it's got a brand new user interface. It looks really neat, really sharp. Really enjoyed that they've finally updated this widget and it's awesome. So I'm gonna select the plus icon right now. This will enable you to add in a new widget and we wanna add in a Zupa Widget Pro. Now a seven by two somehow seemed to work out pretty well for me. I think because it took up the entire width, I'm not too sure how or why, but it did and I didn't ask any questions. So of course you can change the title, call it something so that you don't forget what the widget that you just added or created is so i'm going to go with clarity so i'm going to scroll a bit more down you can of course change the animation a fade in looks brilliant so you can change that animation there and i do recommend taking off the reflection effect as that doesn't look too good in this very theme you can change you can just leave everything as it is as this new feature with, with pop-up widget is fantastic and i'll show you right now what it does i'm just going to select back right now we scroll down now in theory it should now appear at the bottom as a newly created pop-up widget but it didn't for me right here i had to go back into super widget then back into pop-up widget and then it reappeared i'm not sure how or why i'm not too sure if it is a bug but if you have but if it happens to you then you know what to do so i'm going to now select the clarity shortcut here for the pop-up widget it's now being created and set for that music icon I'm just going to go back out of everything. Now, what you might want to do is to configure each one of these very modules to open up different hotspots. You know how it goes. For example, say the weather temperature is 20 degrees. If you want to say make that open up Iron Sky or any other music app or sorry, weather app, then you want to go back into that widget on tap action. But instead of going to your shortcuts, you want to go to your apps list and say choose something else. I don't know, maybe maybe your Yahoo weather. So you're just gonna select Yahoo weather and that's how it goes for every one of those different modules that you see on this setup. Once you've configured them just to the way you want them, you wanna go back out of everything as what we're gonna do now in the main widget settings, and this is very important, is to disable it. Disable the main option here so that when you select random areas, it won't bring up this configuration menu. Well, why do I do that? Well, as you can see, the music icon somewhat small and tapping around it can lead or can lead you to opening up that Zoop widget configuration. So in hindsight, make sure that you configure everything first, then lock your Zoop widget down. As now hopefully when you select that music icon, it now brings up this little thing here. And this is your unconfigured Zoop widget. So of course, we wanna hold down on it. As, as you can see, the new pop-up widget menu configuration here the new update i'm not too sure how long it's been here but it's awesome it's the first time i've tried it out and as you can see i can now within the app i can now change the x y coordinates and make sure that it fits very nicely over this weather setup right here so now i can just select back and now select this zoop widget to bring up this configuration as this one is for the music 
I'm going to select my SD card right here as I'm going to be selecting the Clarity Music pop-up and there it is right here. So now you can of course change all your different modules for this very setup. I'm going to leave it the way it is and let's just see how it goes. So hopefully it should now work. I'm going to now select that music icon and there it is a nice looking music pop-up. How good is that? So that is our music widget complete. We can now test it out. So selecting the play button will then start playing your music. So that's how you know that it works. If not, you want to double check your media utilities and make sure that everything has been configured there correctly. Great everyone, and just one more tip for you guys. If you want to create a theme that includes stunning high-res images and then export it to Thema, you may notice that the Thema zip file is extremely large. Why is that? Well, if you take a high-res image and then say resize it in Zupa to make it tiny, put in some borders and then just say and export it, it's still going to keep that high-res image on that theme, which leads to a very large zip file and makes it an extremely tough job for us to port it to other devices. So what we recommend that you do is to make sure that these images are tiny within themselves. I don't know, just resize them and say a computer program or do something else to make sure that they're not large to start off with so that it makes the entire theme a lot smaller. So just keep that in mind as it makes it a really hard job for us to port it to other themes as you still have these massive images that you may not even notice are that huge because it's in a tiny little grid like this. I'm not saying that this is this very theme, but there are some themes out there that do this. So just keep that in mind and yeah, hope this helps for your theme creation. But that is our home screen complete guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up as well as please subscribe to that My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to join our various social communities. We are on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Instagram, and now Pinterest for all your exciting new wallpapers and mobile UI inspiration. And of course, last but not least, don't forget to check out My Color Screen's official one-click theming launcher titled Thema Beta. It's available free on the Google Play Store. If you haven't left a review, please go and do that. It means the world to us as we can know what to improve on. And if you have some good feedback, it's always good to hear that as well. So other than that, it is Marco here from the My Color Screen channel. And as always, don't stop customizing.